coming at you with a beer review. Today we are going out to Astoria, Oregon, to Fort George Brewery. Here it is. It is their 10th anniversary. That's right, the 10th anniversary barley wine aged in Pinot Noir barrels. <laughs> I saw that on the shelf today, this morning, as I was uh, picking up some supplies for chores I was going to do. And it just looked really good. Did a quick look up on it. This is 12.5% ABV. And uh, they, it's part of their um, Sweet Virginia series. Now, I'm not sure the, the kicker behind the name Sweet Virginia. Is that a song title? Or are they talking about Virginia? No one knows for sure. They brewed it on their 8.5 barrel system. And uh, what they did with this, though, with the Pinot barrels, they're from uh, local uh, wineries, right? you know, not far from my home, maybe 20 minute, half hour drive at best. Uh, Edelsheim and Argyle Pinot Noir barrels. Uh, so two local wineries. And the other interesting thing on this is their website showed this had low bitterness, but then at the same time, they had a description out there that said they had heaps of hops in it. So, I mean, one suggests it's an English barley wine. The other suggests that it's an American barley wine. So <laughs> So you're going to get the real scoop on this one. Let's get it cracked open. All right, let's get the pour on this. Oh, well now look at the color on this. It is a barley wine. So it just got a beautiful caramel color coming out, doesn't it? Look at that. A lot of bubbles coming up. And we've got a full finger head. It's uh, just a very light khaki, almost, uh, you know, really almost more to an off-white side. But I love the color. It's murky. I would expect that in a barley wine. That doesn't bother me. Let's jump right into the nose. All right, you know, the first thing is I'm gonna talk about the big things that hit first. And the big thing that hit my nose first was just a medium caramel. You know, you think those caramel squares that you get at the store, this beautiful, uh, not dark, but lighter caramel. And uh, also I got lightly the Pinot on that as well. Man, there's a, a not just caramel, there's a lot of toffee on this. A lot of sweet toffee. Um, I would say that, you know, the Pinot's there, kind of lightly, you almost get a light berry-esque type thing. You know, just slightly vinous. Uh, those characteristics, now this is quite cold at the moment, those characteristics aren't terribly strong. I'd also say I get almost like a, a light brown sugar type character to it as well. Um, and maybe a hint of some fruits. You get a little bit of hop character in there. Uh, you, you, you know, I think there you get just very light Pinot though. It's not a, a big Pinot character on it. You know it's there. You get maybe a little bit of oakiness off it on the nose too. But I think it's just time to jump on in. So cheers. Oh, that's rather nice. That's rather nice. I'm actually, I'm not sure what the bottling date on this was. There is some bitterness on the back side of this. So they did throw in a bunch of hops. It is someplace between that American barley wine and that English barley wine. It has all that sweet character with the, the caramel and toffee of that English barley wine. Um, and it's not like a, a super hop forward uh, character, but there's a good bit of hop, but it's not, like a, it's not like a bitter. It's not like this really super strong American one. You just get some hints though, which is really nice of like leather and tobacco type characters. You know, a little bit of a light spiciness to it from the hop character, so I don't know what hops they are. And then all those really light behind the scene characters that, that add to it, I feel like you get a, a little bit of estuary type characters coming off the uh, yeast on this. You know, not quite a banana, but it, it pulls in some of those kind of characters, uh, maybe because the, the vinousness but you get some light berry characters going on. It's got a little bit of a, just a, a light bit of a hay grass type character to it. So a lot of fun, uh, light layers of nuances in this beer. Now I like American barley wines and I love English barley wines. So this middle of the road, uh, probably a, a little slightly more towards the English barley wine. I just dig on it. All right, let's get on with the rating it. And as I said before, this is some place between an English barley wine and an American barley wine. I probably really have to put it on the American barley wine side because there is enough hop character to definitely solidly put it in that category. So for American barley wine, I'm going to stick this at a 93. It's an excellent barrel. I don't think it's world class, uh, but it's really good. 
I would like to have had more of the Pinot quality. Overall though, not surprising for me. This is definitely in my wheelhouse. <laughs> I love Imperial Stouts and Barley Wines. I just dig on them. And this is fun, kind of being someplace in between. I still wish there was more Pinot, but I, I, I'm, I'm loving it. Uh, I'm going to go up one, one notch is all, but I'm going to a 94 overall. Fort George does some fabulous beers. I uh, had some with my buddies Dave and Jim not long ago. Well, it's been a couple months. We did a game night, and boy, we had some beauties that evening. They make some great stuff. So whether you're getting their year-round beers or their specialties, there's something definitely to look for, to trade for. This is the 10th anniversary barley wine aged in Pinot Barrels from Fort George Brewery out of Astoria, Oregon. It's a good one. This is Kevin Clemens Homer saying life's too short to drink cheap beer. And I'll see you on the next beer review.